Hi, my name is Emily and I studied abroad in Florence with SAI Summer Semester Program and I've been asked to make this video for you guys as I transition back into my normal everyday life here in the States. They know that it can be a really hard time and sometimes unexpectedly difficult to readjust back into your normal life. So um, I hope that this video will either give you some tips and tricks about how to readjust or just let you know that it's completely normal to have ups and downs of the journey. I've actually been home for a month now, so I have some final thoughts for you guys. But first, I want to show you what it was like leaving Florence, my last day there, and then a couple updates and then I'll be back. Um, today, things really got real because I received an email from SAI. <laughs> Or two emails from them about checking out of the apartment and the end of program information. Happy last day. Happy last day. Sad last day. This is not a happy day. Very sad. <laughs> it like just all hit you at once. <laughs> I'm gonna have tears to stream. <laughs> Why did you have to start crying? I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Bye Megan. Hey. hey guys, I am back in the USA and I wanted to give you a quick update about how I've been feeling, the things I'm missing about Florence, the things I'm most excited about being home, and just like an overall update. So I've been back for a couple days, I cut my hair, and um, yeah, so the things I'm missing about Florence so far are being able to walk outside and see the Ponte Vecchio and the Duomo, first of all. Basically I just miss the newness of everything. When you're studying abroad, everything is new, everything is exciting. One weekend you'll be in Paris, one weekend you'll be in Rome, and it's just you come home and everything is just normal. So I miss that, but I am trying to focus on the things that I've been most excited about and most looking forward to about coming home. So I've been most excited about sleeping in my own bed. I've just gotten a new mattress before I left and I had to leave it, so being back with it has been so good. Um, I missed eating my favorite foods like Pad Thai. There are Thai restaurants in Florence, but they're just not the same as my favorite local restaurant. Um, hanging out with my friends and family, seeing my friends and doing things that we used to do like go hammocking and go to brunch and all that stuff has been so fun. I will say when catching up with people, have like a couple answers prepared. Everyone's going to ask you your favorite thing that you did, your favorite thing about your city, all those kinds of things. So just like have those in the back of your mind. Seeing my family has been so fun and hanging out with them. My little brother went to college this week, so that's pretty crazy. Okay, so that's pretty much all for right now. I'm going to do another update in a couple weeks and let you know how I'm feeling then um, and give you some more tips that have helped me kind of cope with this, like, adjustment time because it is really sad. I miss Florence a lot, but I know that's a normal feeling, so, um, yeah, I'm happy to share this experience with you guys, and I'll see you then. So as I said in my last update, I really miss the newness of everything still. So I thought when I got home that it was going to be like I was sad for a little while and then it just got better. But I think that it's kind of like ups and downs because at first you're still um, excited to see like your friends and your bed and eat your food and everything. And then that excitement kind of wears off and then you're like sad again. But then as time goes on, you're like feeling better and then something will remind you of the place that you were or the, your friends and it, then you'll just like have another low point. Obviously you have to move on with your life but it's still always going to be something and you shouldn't try and forget about it. You should just try and remember it as a fun memory and then look forward to the rest of the things in your life. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Look forward to things and find kind of my next adventure I guess. So I've been looking forward to studying abroad for like a year and a half before I even got to go. And then it happened and it went by so quickly and I didn't really think about past my program end date so I didn't plan out anything. So that's my tip to you if you are studying abroad currently or you are planning on studying abroad in the future, like think ahead a little bit, maybe plan something out for when you get home. Something weird that's been happening that I was not expecting is that I started missing things that I did not think I was going to miss. Like, we used to walk about five miles a day, sometimes more, in Florence, and didn't think I'd miss that, but I actually really do. Here, driving, like, kind of gets on my nerves. I thought I would miss driving, but now that I've been back, I'm, like, over it. 
So we've all seen those jokes and memes about the people that go abroad and then they come back and all they want to talk about is being abroad and what they learned and how sophisticated they are. And I've definitely noticed a tendency in myself to want to explain everything that I experienced to people and all the people I met and the places I went and why I feel so changed and different. But and I'm I am lucky because I make videos so my friends and family can watch them and see like little snippets of what I went through, but I think coming to terms with the fact that no one is going to understand your experience like you and the people that you were there with. So I'm not sure if that makes a ton of sense, but I'm sure that when you get home, you will understand that you you want to share it with everyone and they want to hear about it, but there are certain things that you're not going to be able to articulate to them and that's okay. Okay, so that has basically been my experience of readjusting back to the States. I guess to conclude, I would just say really cherish your time abroad, but also realize that once you get home, you may feel bored for a little while, but there's still so much to look forward to. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I also have more videos about studying abroad, so I'll put my YouTube name on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!